Hey guys, how's it going? I know I haven't been making many videos lately. And, uh, let alone working on anything, really. As I'll explain why in a minute. I had to go back to work. But back at the boat place. I'm sure most of you have already seen my video airing up the tires on the 65 Ford Galaxy. That was a fun trip. Uh, if you haven't seen that, go check it out. <laughs> Here's the wheel horse tractors. Haven't done anything with them, unfortunately. Like I said, I went back to work because they're closing the doors after 80 years of business, including building wooden boats in the 30s through the 50s. Ow. So I went back to help them and make a few bucks on the, you know, as well because I need it. <laughs> so I got a couple things from work, you know, that they were just going to throw out. One of them is this little guy. This little critter, this trailer. Of course, wood here. This piece, this board at the bottom here was actually one of the jigs to make, I believe, ribs for the wooden boats. Plus a whole bunch of other stuff, who knows. But most of that's probably going to be burnt up anyways. But, yeah, this little trailer here. I've been wanting to... Ouch. Just hit my head. I've been wanting to make a teardrop camper for quite a while. And I decided a long time ago I didn't like the Harbor Freight little 4x8 trailers. I wanted something a little bit bigger. So this is, I would think, 4 by 10 I would assume. Because this looks like it's about 8 feet right here. Alright, I got my tape measure here. So let's do a little bit of measuring and a little bit of, oops, a little bit of measuring and a little bit of dreaming here guys. Without dreams, sure makes life hard to live. Six, seven. All right, so right here is eight foot. So I was wrong. And right, okay, I was right. Right there is ten foot. Okay, roughly. How wide are we? Four four foot so a little thunder nice so from here my pointer is flopping from here to about here is one four by eight sheet of plywood what I'd like to do is undo the weld here and bring it out straighten it out here and over so we have a box okay now I think I've shown you guys some plans before here's the I think I budgeted two feet for a galley so about oops sorry guys this is one-handed I apologize for the shakiness you suck Alright, so about here will be the back wall of the trailer. So essentially, the door will be right here. Like I said, so out there you still have a couple feet to lay down. I'm about, I'm almost six foot. I'll, I'll call it five eight. I'm short, I know. So, and of course, TV, whatever, VCR. VCR, wow. Whew. Can't believe I just said that. 
VCR, DVD, whatever. My plan... Oh, let me open the door here. Turn off the air. Close the door. <laughs> I'm just kidding, guys. My plan is to have it looking as... I guess the, the kids call it retro. Looking as... You know, as vintage as possible, I guess the kids also call it. You know, looking as old as possible, but on the inside you have all the modern con conveniences of an RV. Just about, with the exception of a toilet and shower. So back here, you know, this will be the, the, the stove area. Here will be a fridge. A little, little mini fridge right here. Uh, folding, a stove will slide out. Have cabinets, 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 sink right here. Of course, the light up here would be the hatch. Of course, the trailer will be level at a camp, but I just I think it'll be perfect. I don't know what the condition of the axle is. It looks like somebody fixed it, but I think it's fine. It's, you know, it's stiff. I'd have to check the bearings and everything. That's easy. That's my dream for that. Because, as you saw in my 79 Prowler Resurrection video, this poor old girl is just that. She's old. I had three camping trips planned this year for it. That's why I did all the work. And I have done zero. One fell up, one fell through because of bad weather. And you know, I just I have one more I'm hoping to take it on, but I can see that I'm gonna have a problem here because this keeps pulling pulling away from the camper. That means this is all rotten. So it might be time for this old girl to find a new home. Somebody that's gonna, you know, take her apart and take care of her. But that's not gonna happen until this is completed. So that's the dream, guys and girls. It's a dream, ladies and gentlemen. Let's. Uh, every dream starts with planning. Starts with the seed, and we're gonna see how far we can get. So once I have this straightened, you know, so like I said, from here to there, I have to sandblast it and clean the frame. And I want to see if I can find some marine grade paint from the store. They were throwing a whole bunch out, but I don't know if there's any black paint, because I'd like black paint for this. But we'll see. Then I got to cut all the rollers off, cut the bunks off. Cut the tail lights off, cut the fender off. And we'll go from there. So this is a fall project, boys. Other cool things I found at the store. This little guy. Old Firestone branded engine. I guess it was made by Scott Atwater or something. Okay. I don't know, I found it in the back and they said take it to the scrap bin and I said, oh, I'll take it home, it looks cool. So I did. <laughs> also, I was cleaning out some wood yesterday in the wood room and I found some old newspapers that were stashed and these are all from the PN era, pre-Nick. This is just kind of cool. Let's see. I wonder who knows their history. 1986. Moscow. Let's see. Actually, a little bit outside of Moscow. At Chernobyl. So that's kind of neat. And the Tigers lose ninth inning. Typical. <laughs> Nothing has changed there. And this is a month later. Uh, 
May 29th. They're still talking about it. Hey, the Tigers won for a change. <laughs> so I thought this was cool as heck, you know. It just, it's history. So those have been my projects, guys. Uh, I've been traveling. I'm going to be going to Minnesota next weekend. Help a buddy out with his marching band once again. At least put a little bit of my degree to work. Don't have a job for the fall. So we'll see what happens once the boat shop closes the doors. But for now, this is the planning stage of a teardrop camper. I like these fender lines. My original design was to have a fender slope teardrop can a teardrop fender shape like that. But much more amplified like a I don't know, like a 36 road Chevy Roadster or something, you know, a big hot rod, the real sweeping teardrop fenders, and it would go right into a bumper. But we'll see. Unfortunately, my metal work leaves a lot to be desired. So, alright guys, that's a little update. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching, commenting, subscribing, and stay cool.